Now in the last video, we looked at morphological erosion and dilation. Erosion and dilation are considered the basic morphological operations. In this video, we will look at opening and closing, which are compound operations. Let's start by looking at the opening operation. Now opening is simply erosion followed by dilation. In this example on the screen, we have our input mask on the left, and we're going to use this cross-shaped structuring element to carry out the opening. Now the first step in an opening operation is erosion of the input mask with this structuring element. And if you do so, you will get this secondary mask in the middle. The next step is then to carry out dilation on the secondary mask using the same structuring element. And you will then end up with an output mask that looks like this image on the right. Now this whole process of erosion and dilation is called opening. Now one thing I'd like to point out is that if you compare the size of the output mask after opening, it is close to the size of the original input, at least compared to the first eroded mask. This is one of the advantages of using opening. It keeps the size of the objects and the output similar to the size of the objects in the input. To carry out morphological opening in MATLAB, use the function imopen. Just as with erosion and dilation, imopen takes in two input arguments. The first is the input mask, and the second is the structuring element. So let's switch over to MATLAB and try this out. Here I have in the variable m an input mask that looks like this. And I'm going to define a cross-shaped structuring element. And I'm going to use this structuring element to perform morphological opening on our input mask. And we're going to use the function imopen. And if I display this now, you'll see that we get the same picture as we did in this slide. Now, as I mentioned, opening is simply erosion followed by dilation. And to prove this, I'm going to carry out um, the two different steps. So let's use im erode. And so if we look at our original mask again, this is what the eroded mask looks like. And now let's dilate the eroded mask. I think I am dilate, but with the same structuring element. If I display this, you'll see that this is the same picture that we got when we used the function I am open. So why would you want to use morphological opening? Well, it turns out that opening is incredibly useful. Um, and I'll show you a few examples here. So one of the things that morphological opening is really useful for is for smoothing the edges of segmented objects. Very often when you segment an object, you might see that the edges are jaggedy and might have weird protrusions like this. Um, but running morphological opening with a disk shaped structuring element can smooth it out. Another use for morphological opening is for removing small objects. So for example, if you have an image that had a lot of noise, when you segment the image, you might see a lot of these speckles. But by using morphological opening, you can remove these speckles and still retain the shape of your actual object of interest. And finally, morphological opening can be really useful for removing objects in your mask with a specific shape. So for example, in this image here, the input image consists of a bunch of circles and lines. If we opening the morphological image with the correct structuring element, we can preserve the circles but remove the lines. All right, the next operation that we will look at is morphological closing. And closing is dilation followed by an erosion. All right, so as I said before, opening was erosion followed by dilation, and closing is basically the opposite. It's dilation followed by erosion. In MATLAB, Morphological closing is carried out by the function I am close. Now we've seen enough of these examples, so I won't show you how this function works, but I encourage you to try it out on your own. So why would you want to use morphological closing? Well, morphological closing is useful for filling in small holes in the image 
while still preserving the shape of other objects. So I hope that you've seen through this video that morphological opening and closing are very useful functions that you can use to refine your mask.